Hey everybody and welcome to the Bullsheep Party! And in this one we have a new vehicle to review, which is the Übermacht Cypher. And as always we're gonna be taking an in-depth look of it, into its exterior, interior, the way it customizes, handles, perform and all that good stuff, we're gonna be customizing it in Los Santos Customs and ultimately and finally, I'm gonna be giving you a verdict if it's worth it or not. And with that let's start with the 360 around the vehicle while I give you some facts about it. First and foremost, it's based on the current generation BMW M2, which is a great car in my opinion. And even though I personally don't have the best track record with BMWs, more on that in a different video, I can definitely appreciate the German engineering. And as you can see here, we have the engine in the front, covered by, by a cover. We have two frameless doors, and we have a trunk that all open, so the car is very interactive. All in all, the outside or the exterior of the vehicle is very to my taste, I really like what Rockstar did here. And I especially like the headlight design, but uh, what does the interior look like? And I'm actually kinda disappointed to say that the interior looks, uh, I don't know, a little bit generic. What do you think? But you know what's not generic? And with that we're off to do our scientific test to see what type of drivetrain the vehicle has. But since it's a BMW it should be a rear wheel drive vehicle and there you have it. It's confirmed but I had to do it cause I'm making a review video after all. And with that we're off to Los Santos Customs to see what we can customize on this vehicle. And on our way there I'm gonna be sharing with you my thoughts and impressions of the stock version of the Cypher. First of all I'd like to say that I really dislike the sound the car makes when it shifts. If I wanted to play Need for Speed, I'd be playing Need for Speed. I'm playing GTA because I want to be playing GTA, and I uh, fully understand that sentence made no sense to you, but believe me, it, uh, it makes sense to me. And as for the handling, traction, and all that good stuff about the vehicle, basically the performance of it, uh, I gotta say I'm not impressed, and keep in mind I'm talking about the stock version of the vehicle, but uh, the handling is, as you saw, a little tanky. The traction is decent, but uh, the acceleration and top speed leave a lot to be desired. And of course the brakes are horrible. But uh, again, that's the stock version of the Cypher. But who knows, maybe when we exit Los Santos Customs and fully customize this thing, it's gonna be an incredible vehicle. And with that, let's make a final U-turn, look at the awesome headlights, and enter Los Santos Customs to see what we can customize on the Cypher. And here we are in Los Santos Customs and one thing that I didn't mention so far is that the Cypher is a part of the sports car category in GTA Online. And as a part of the sports car class, it's uh, it's not very fast. But again, this is about the stock version of the vehicle, maybe the upgrade's gonna make it worth my while. But uh, let's see. And with that we're gonna be customizing, or should I say upgrading all the performance up front so we don't forget anything at the end. And this is also gonna allow me to skim over the customization and see what I'm in for. And with that we are currently customizing the front bumper. And as you can see you have a plethora of different things you can customize on the front bumper. As for the rear bumper, you have a lot less customization but it's still pretty cool. And the next one we're gonna be customizing is the chassis option, which is a kind of a weird one. But with these things, uh, customization I mean, I guess more is better, so I, I, I guess that's better. And we can even put on an extra diffuser at the back, but uh, don't be fooled, this does not increase any of the performance of the vehicle. This is purely cosmetic. And speaking of cosmetic differences, as you can see the stock block of the vehicle is covered by this horrible plastic BMW engine wrap. And if you're not a fan of that, you can remove it and opt for something more classic. And the other thing you can do to the engine is add a brace, and the braces here are the same for every vehicle that I've seen from the DLC, so we're just gonna skim through them and go to the next option. Which is probably the most disappointing customization out of the entire vehicle, the exhaust. In my opinion Rockstar could have put more interesting looking exhaust here, because again it's just my opinion here, but they all kinda look the same. And I understand the exhaust is basically a pipe, but still use your imagination. And I'm, I'm talking to Rockstar here. Use your imagination, Rockstar! Give me a pipe! But that didn't come out right. Anyhow, moving on, and uh, as you can see, you can color the headlights of the vehicle, even though I think it looks horrendous. But if you want to, you can ruin it that way. And speaking of ruining it, you can put hood latches on the hood of the vehicle. And the hood latches are the same for every vehicle that I've seen from the DLC. 
The hoods, however, I believe are unique to this vehicle, and I gotta say, uh, there are some hoods here that I really, really like. And with that, we shimmy our way to the interior of the vehicle, and uh, as you can see, you can change the steering wheel. Yay, those are the same for every other vehicle that I've seen from the DLC. Next up, you can change the look of the dash, if that's your thing. You can put extra dials on your vehicle, you can change the door panel, in case uh, you want to for some reason. You can change the interior of the vehicle, and you can put on different seats, and the seats are the same for every vehicle that I've seen from the DLC. And if you really want to ruin your vehicle, just put a roll cage in it. Yeah, yeah, that's gonna do it. And next up we have, ew, liveries. And as you guys probably know, this is my least favorite customization option. But there's a twist here. I don't know if you guys know this, but uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted is probably my favorite raci racing game of all time. And so happens that uh, this vehicle has a livery that mimics the one from the BMW that was featured in Most Wanted. And, no joke, as soon as I saw this, I started jumping up and down. I really did not expect this, and I'm really, really excited and really thankful that we actually got this. And because I already know what color I want to make my vehicle, I left the license plate white, which is something that I don't usually do. But, even in red, I think the livery actually looks really, really awesome. I actually can't wait to see what the blue is gonna look like, but uh, all in good time. For now, let's just stick with the skirts option and see what we can customize on it. Okay, not impressed. And since we're making the BMW M3 type of car from uh, Need for Speed Most Wanted, we need the biggest, most outrageous spoiler they have. And of course they have a spoiler that mimics the one from the game. Really cool, honestly, at this point I was so excited, I really just wanted to leave Los Santos Customs and just drive around with the vehicle. But no, I'm not gonna do that, I am making a review video after all, so here are all the customization options you can expect from the vehicle. And of course you can slam it to the ground, which is what I did, and uh, the next customization option we're gonna focus on are the vents. And uh, this one kind of escaped me at the beginning, but uh, yeah, you can put carbon on the vents, which is a nice touch, I guess. And keeping up with tradition, I'm not gonna do anything on the wheels. I'm just gonna change the window tint to light smoke and go and customize the color of the vehicle. Basically, respray it. I'm sorry, the word just escaped me. And uh, because I'm not sure which is which, let's uh, go to the secondary color and uh, choose a different one. And uh, keep in mind, guys, I haven't seen the vehicle in probably 10 years at this point. The M3 GTR from Most Wanted, that is. So I'm doing everything here from memory. And I think the brake calipers on that vehicle were blue. So I'm gonna make mine blue as well. And as for the base color of the vehicle, of course, it has to be white. And the secondary color, or in this case, the primary color, the basically the vinyl wrap, needs to be blue. And as you can see, as we're going through the different colors... The, actually, this vinyl wrap, this livery, looks great in a lot of different colors. It's just not the most wanted BMW, which is what I wanted. See what I did there? Yeah, you're right, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm actually ashamed that I said that. Sorry. And, of course, we need to change the interior color to something that resembles white-ish. And the last thing we're gonna do is change the accent color. Wait, what was the accent color again? Wait, am I changing the color of the dials? I am, aren't I? Yeah, not having that. And here we are, guys, on the outside, and I gotta say, the vehicle looks spectacular. As I said, I didn't expect this, I really, really didn't expect this, and uh, I'm actually really happy with the way it turned out. But enough about the visual customization, and now let's talk about how the performance changed. And uh, I actually don't know if it's a placebo from the awesome livery, but I really like how the vehicle behaves now. And once again, I don't know if this is just me being a hypocrite, but I really like what I'm seeing here. The traction I feel is much better, the handling I feel, and as you can see, it's much more controllable, which is always better. The acceleration and top speed I feel have greatly improved, but the biggest improvement is to the look of the vehicle. I mean, just look at it, it looks awesome! Oh, but back to the performance side of things. And uh, keep in mind, I still have my rose-colored glasses on. But at this point, as of the recording of this audio, I believe this might be my favorite vehicle from the DLC. 
performance wise it's definitely decent it's above average for sure but just being able to replicate or mostly replicate the m3 gtr from the most wanted game makes it worthwhile for me so to answer the question i believe this vehicle is totally totally worth it i mean just look at how cool it is and uh with that i actually think it's time to end the video Thank you so much to everybody that watched, hopefully you liked what you saw, if that's the case, subscribe if you're new to the channel, make sure you leave a like as well, I'm off to making another video, and uh, I'll catch you all in the next one. Man, that car was so good, too bad it was a rental.